If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check the referral links down in the description. They'll take you to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods already, and with the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 188 of the Career Mode Road to Glory here on FIFA 15. Thank you very much for all of the feedback you gave me in the comments section of the previous episode. We of course were looking more at what positions to strengthen in rather than actual people in the previous episode that we should go out and buy. And I'm looking at some of the suggestions you guys have given me. The majority of the comments were saying we need to improve at centre-back. We need to improve at wing back, preferably a very high rated centre mid if we can, potentially a new winger and definitely a new striker. So, uh, as you can see, I'm scrolling through a few. Th ooh, that was weird. Scrolling through a few uh, different options that I've put onto my uh, short list here. Some of them are uh, players that you suggested, some of them are players that uh, I've had a further deeper look into over the past uh, couple of uh, couple of hours I suppose putting this particular episode together Memphis Depay is still there though I actually added a couple more players onto the transfer list though Bayerine, Wolongwa, Akwadar, Von Haak, Vadio, Wendell, Wilson, Fiolo, or Fiola, Gabbiadini are now all on the transfer list although the most important one that we ship out is Von Haak because we need that money 32 million pounds if we're actually to do anything in this window because we've only got a 9 million pound budget at present in, in actual fact I had to take an extra to 670 or 680 grand out of that because uh, I wanted to get an extra scout. So uh, we're actually now have 8.3 million to spend in this window. Rejecting an offer though for my number one current left back Biraki in uh, the previous hollow. We are we do actually have a number of youngsters that we're trying to move out on loan as well. Hopefully they can all grow pretty well with some uh, first team experience. You guys were uh, keen on me moving out Alvaro Vadillo as well to bring in a new right sided midfielder. So we're trying to do that here. Everton coming in with a rather low bid of 3.8 million when he's valued at five. So I counter offered six and a half. Also looking at Saido Berahino, look at those stats, 85 finishing and his physicals are unbelievable but he's only 79 rated and valued at £7.5 million. Uh, yes please, I will definitely take Saido Berahino as a Callum Wilson replacement. Now, I'll try and use Callum Wilson as make way in this deal if I possibly can. I initially thought well, well let's try money but then I realised probably don't have enough to be completely honest. So uh, just as we used... Uh, Takelo Ranti plus a little bit of cash to bring in Yusuf Palzen. We'll try and use Callum Wilson plus a little bit of cash to bring in Saido Berahino. £5 million plus Callum Wilson was the offer we put in. Everton were uh, replying here to my counter offer of £6.5 million for Alvaro Vadillo. And it occurred to me, hang on a second, we're going after Saido Berahino that's also at Everton. Should I use Vadillo as the make weight in that deal? But to be completely honest, we're probably going to get more money out of a deal with Vadillo if we sell him in a separate uh, if we sell him in a separate deal and we'd probably be better off using Callum Wilson as the guy to uh, use his make weight for uh, for Saido Berahino not only for the fact that uh, Vadillo is worth more and we get more money to go into the coffers to spend elsewhere but also because obviously Callum Wilson is a striker Saido Berahino is a striker it makes sense to use a like for like swap for an only myself so that we don't end up with too many strikers but for Everton as well they at least get a, a half decent replacement for the play that they'd be losing they did turn down though the five million pounds plus uh, Wilson so we'll offer seven and see what they say they would like 11 and a half million total but uh, obviously with Callum Wilson being valued at about three then uh, that deal takes it to around about 10 so that's fair that's a fair deal in my opinion we'll offer 5.4 for Vadillo this time they seem to be very adamant that they want to pay five but if I can squeeze just a little bit more out of them then uh, that will be very nice indeed and uh, everything was kind of happening from a day-to-day -day basis here you can see me advancing just throughout the uh, the time between now or between the start of the uh, transfer window and the first friendly had an offer in for one Andre Aquadai we're trying to move out counter offered seven million for him big offer well not, not actually a big offer a value offer for Lille from Lille for Johannes Geis who I'm trying to counter offer a big offer for 14 million pounds Everton though have accepted the offer of seven million plus Saido Berahino for uh, for no, plus Callum Wilson for Saido Berahino. So I'll try my best to uh, to get him in. And it's weird. But Callum Wilson is a player that we offered a massive wage to. So in theory, I shouldn't have to alter my budget here because the money, the extra money that we'll get from the sale of Callum Wilson, who's on about 140 grand a week, when his wage is free up, 
that will mean that uh, you know we'll have enough to quite comfortably afford Soda Berahino's wages. But for some reason, it wasn't taking that into account when I was trying to make this deal. So I had to alter my budget one way to uh, actually get you know, to open up the opportunity for me to actually offer him a contract in the first place. But uh, they rejected Hatafe my counteroffer of seven for one Andres Aquadar, but I'll try and counteroffer five and a half because anything above value is perfectly fine by me. Five million is five million uh, extra into the coffers, and we'll see what they say about that. And again, everything kind of happens. It, it takes a week or so for you to get some of the scout reports back, and then everything kind of snowballs from there. And, uh, you know, deals are coming left, right and centre almost every single day as you advance through the calendar especially this far into a career mode, but uh, they rejected our £14 million bid or counter-offer Lille for Johannes Geis, so we'll try 11. And uh, regarding the transfer offer for Alvaro Video, they have accepted. No, no, they haven't accepted. They said they're going to stop. So for the sake of four hundred grand. They offered me five, and I've counter-offered 5.4, and they've gone, you know what? No. So well, that's annoying. It was this one, Juan Andres Aguadar, that they've accepted, and uh, he looks like he'll be on his way to Hatafe. And again, really frustratingly, I'm going to have to go back and... Well, I thought I'd have to go back and alter my budgets again, but as it turns out, because it's not taking into account the money that will be freed up from Callum Wilson's wages, I don't have enough money right now to alter my budget either way to be able to confirm this Saido Berahino uh, transfer. So it's really frustrating that we're actually going to have to hold off on this transfer for now until we can get someone else out the door so that I can then uh, bring in Saido Berahino. Fortunately, for next year, it was in the information released at Gamescom, um, when you have a situation like that, we say you have enough money, it's just that your transfer budget is out of whack, or your wage budget is out of whack, rather than having to back out of the deal and then go into your wage budget and transfer it across and then go back into the deal, it will auto-balance in FIFA 16. At least that's what they're saying from uh, Gamescom in the information that was released uh, via uh, Foothead. So uh, hopefully that will be a thing and we'll be able to uh, to push forward and uh, have to not worry about doing that sort of thing. Like in this situation, I now have enough money because one Andrew Thagwadar has been moved out, but again, I had to back out, go into my budgets, alter the budget, go back into the deal, then confirm the deal, Deal. but hopefully for FIFA 16 it will just be quick and simple and just one click of a button and it will auto balance for you but that is the first transfer signing of the new window confirmed Saido Berahino, a very very good Saido Berahino by the looks of things is joining us and Callum Wilson is going the other ways now I'm not sure whether to drop Strial Georgiev to the bench and play Saido Berahino in his place you guys will have to let me know in the comment section which player should I play ahead of each other Palzen is going to stay in the first team there is no doubt about that whatsoever you'll also have to let me know which of these players now that we're starting to get a sneak peek at as uh, their stats start to come through from the uh, opening brief scout reports, which of these players should I try and uh, push forward and have a look at? A couple of players like uh, Paolo Oliveira, actually, I'm having to go out and still continue to scout. That's why I had to go and uh, spend some of my budget on an extra scout, because all of my previous staff were currently busy. But uh, we're looking at Bikinios, Daniel Amate, who can play centre-back and CDM. That might be crucial. Um, but I have signed a, a player that could play centre-back and CDM previously in another series, uh, Dragovic, and I haven't really enjoyed him. But I know that Daniel Amate comes very highly recommended by you guys and Chani as well, so I may have to look into him. We're looking at... Uh, I'm not really going to try and pronounce his first name. We're looking at Bazur, who for 4 million... Look at those stats! 4 million? His stats look incredible, so I'm definitely going to have a look and try and bring him in. Why is he only valued at 4 million? That's baffling to me. If I can use um, Gabby Adini as make weight for this deal as well, because we've offered him an extra 100 grand a week, and as you can see, the wage budget now, despite the fact that we've paid 80 grand a week for Soda Berahino, now shows that it's a lot higher thanks to the moving on of Callum Wilson. Uh, I'm just curious to see what Jenkins Chikowee's over Jenkins overall rating is now. Uh, Mohamed Salah we're looking at, we're also looking at Pione Sisto as well. He's a very good player on Football Manager, not valued that highly either. So I would like to see just a little bit more from uh, his stats before making a jump for the deal. Uh, Nicolas Spoiler we won't be going in for, but Pierre, is it Pierre-Emile Hoiberg? I can't quite say yes. Pierre-Emile Hoiberg at Bayern Munich. Looks fantastic, and he would be perfect for that centre mid role alongside uh, our new signing, obviously James Ward Prowse. So fingers crossed, we'll be able to move, uh, we'll be able to move Julian von Haag out sooner rather than later, and be able to bring uh, Hoiberg in. That's my main target now, I think, for uh, 
for the central midfield position. Although we may need to look elsewhere as well to try and replace uh, Johannes Geis. But uh, you'll have to let me know some more centimetre options as we head through in uh, the next few episodes or so. But uh, as you can see, we're uh, now at the first friendly and we'll have a couple of the uh, the friendlies in the next episode as we continue to push through, push through the transfer window. But that is going to bring today's episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed, of course. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed throughout the day, really. There was, what, five uploads today? You had the uh, stream footage from Football Manager. You had my Twitch rant about the City-Chelsea game went up at 10 o'clock. had a Barcelona career mode episode at 1pm. You had the new series with Chani and MGH go up an hour ago at 7pm. And now you've got this one. So that's five uploads today as well as a stream coming later on this evening about 8.45 for Football Manager. You guys are being spoiled today. Absolutely spoiled rotten. But hopefully you enjoy all of the content that's coming out. It's weird. Uh, we're towards the end of FIFA 15 and I'm trying not to put out as much content because obviously we want to wind down and then uh, open up the time to be able to go ham when FIFA 16 comes out and I'm actually putting out even more videos at the minute. But uh, there will be an afternoon stream tomorrow. There wasn't one earlier on today just because I hadn't didn't have the time. But there will be an afternoon stream tomorrow where we'll play some random games on stream and then tomorrow night we'll have Football Manager again. But like I say, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Follow all the links in the description to my Twitch, to my Twitter, to my Instagram, add me on Facebook, follow the link if you need to anything from G2A as well, whether that be Xbox codes or games or PlayStation codes, etc. But for now, goodbye.